Uh, well, I started off at Penn State. I was in ROTC, and uh, then I graduated, went to pilot training, and I ended up flying C-21s for the Air Force, which is Lear Jets, and then my next assignment was C-5. So that's how I originally got in aviation. My dad was very interested in flying. He was a private pilot, which uh, you know piqued my interest in it, and uh, that's what got me to go about going to Penn State in the Air Force ROTC program. So probably my father was my inspiration to fly. I was uh, active duty for 12 years. Uh, I left active duty, went to Northwest for uh, two years, and then after 9-11, I went back full-time in the reserves to fight the war on terror. And uh, I've been back at the reserves ever since then. Back in the C-5, and then they offered me the C-2 pilot, the C-5M, which was an outstanding opportunity. My most challenging experience was the first time I flew into Iraq in 2003. It was uh, right after the end of major combat hostilities and going into a hot zone in a C-5, it was extremely challenging for the first time. Basically, we're used to transport any cargo around the world. We transport anything from helicopters to Humvees to MRAPs to basic supplies, uh, mostly from the States these days downrange into the uh, Iraq and Afghanistan AORs. And basically, we're there to support the troops in the field to get them what they need in a very timely manner. It has a very large wing surface, which allows us to take off at slower airspeeds with very heavy weights. And then it has a swept wing, which allows us to speed up. Our max speed is 8.2 Mach. We cruise at about 0.77 Mach, which is 77% the speed of sound up at altitude. And then we discussed earlier air refueling, which will even take us farther past that 56, 5,800 mile range. We can fly an indeterminate amount of time. When we were flying to Mogadishu, hitting three tankers along the way for 18 hours in the air from the States to Mogadishu, for example. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidine, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidine Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. Well, it's a uh 260 feet long. The wingspan is 222 feet. Basically, it's just 40 feet short of a football field. And the wings will hang over the other edges of the football field uh, quite significantly. We can carry up to uh, 225,000 pounds of cargo. Our average load is about 120,000 pounds. And we can take that all the way from Dover, Delaware, all the way to Baghdad on the new M model. As far as the M model, the second half of our ERP, the new N, it is reliability enhancement and re-engineing re program. The big part that is very visible is the engines. They produce significantly more thrust, approximately 22% over wider range of temperatures. Right now we have three of those aircraft complete. And what that gives us is the new engines are significantly more reliable. Where the older engines, a little over 2,000 hours are taken off the wing and in layman's terms they are rebuilt. These engines will last for over 10,000 hours on the wings before we have to do that type of maintenance. So it's significantly a maintenance savings. Some of the ancillary benefits for the air crew is because of the more thrust, we can take off with more weight, go farther distances with more fuel, and in the end, that allows us to overfly en route locations where we normally stop for gas. We can go direct. I liken it to being a green aircraft because if we can cut 400 miles off a trip, we save 20,000 pounds of gas. If we don't need a tanker, we save that asset and the fuel associated with it. To go along with the, the green part of it, they're also stage four noise compliant. They don't make the typical sound a B model engine makes. Way back when the TF-39 was built, it was the first high bypass engine. It was a huge leap in technology. And the ironic thing in our research was we found that that was the quiet engine at the time. And just watching how technology, and now we're getting it to this aircraft and the capabilities it's giving us to, to serve the warfighter is incredible. As you can see behind us, we have the avionics modernization program. Just basically upgrading it from an analog system to a digital system. Compared to having a map in your car and looking down and seeing where you are, okay, I'm here and this is where I'm going, now we can look at the navigation display right there and now you can see, just like the GPS in your car, where you are, where you're going, and it gives you directions on how to get there. And we can hook up the autopilot to that. And that's a big help, especially in a combat environment. We're doing combat approaches when things are very busy. Having that tops down view of where we are gives us a lot of situational awareness on where we are and where we're going and is a big aid to the crew. It allows us to fly into uh, what they call GATAM airspace. They are upgrading the airspace. We are flying instead of 2,000 feet between the airplanes, now 1,000 feet. 
So we had to upgrade to the new airspace so we can fly in that commercial airspace. It also enhances reliability. As you can see, these are plug and play systems versus all the little components we used to have. Now we have one large one in a computer. So it is easier to maintain and it also provides a lot for the air crew. That's what we're always looking for is the win-win between maintenance and operations to increase the maintenance reliability and increase the use of the air crews. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its VTAIL design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. Approximately with the glass cockpit, the AMP, we have 56 aircraft done. They are being done at Dover and Travis. 2014 is when the AMP is supposed to be complete, and 2018 is when the re-engineering is, is, is scheduled to complete. So it is a long process. It takes right now about 11 months to modify with the new engines, and that will be decreased to eight months. And that comes from efficiencies on the production line, as the people on the production line learn the process, they get better at it. And that is actually programmed in that, that, of that time decrease. That's how good the engineers have gotten at the manufacturers of actually being able to plan out as they go along, they get better and better at the process. It, it doesn't change the mission because we, as we talked about before, it carries just huge amounts of cargo. What it does change is the time it takes to get the equipment downrange because we can cut out those en route stops, which allows the airplane to come back faster, load up more cargo, and get it back out on the road again. So you almost increase the virtual size of your fleet because you can turn it faster. This modification will pay for itself approximately twice over in fuel savings and maintenance savings costs.